Drawing this cute sushi in Procreate is easier than you think and I'm going to show you step by step how you can do it even if you're a beginner in digital art. Let's make a new canvas, A4 canvas on Procreate. Rotate it this way. And first we are going to do a very simple sketch of our sushi. Let's take the brush for this. And if you want to use exactly the same colors as I will be using and the same brushes, you can download it all for free in this link in the description of this video. You can take any sketching brush that you like. I'm going to use my Shakula pencil brush. My brush size will be 30%. And let's pick a color. Let's take color number 7. Let's draw here an oval shape, like this. We can make the front of it a little bit more flat, so this way. And now here on top of this, we can draw a piece of salmon. So this will be like a nice rounded shape like this. Now let's draw here a stripe of the seaweed. So let's take this here a little bit above that salmon piece and draw it over here like this. And now we can draw the face. You can draw here any kind of face that you like. Or you can even skip it if you don't want your sushi to have a face. I'm going to draw eyes happy and closed like this. And then very big smile, like that. The tongue, and he will also have your blush. And then of course we'll have your arcs all around this. We're going to make this look kind of like a cloud. So you can just draw this here like that. And the sketch is finished. We can now make this maybe a little bit bigger or smaller. Let's take the arrow tool. At the bottom, pick uniform option. And you can adjust it to your canvas. Okay, and let's stop here to finish this. Now let's open the layers. We are going to turn down the opacity of this layer. Let's stop here. And let's turn it down. I'll make it 25% and we can also change the blending mode of this layer to multiply. Okay, now let's make a new layer and put it under the sketch layer and over here we can draw the outlines. Let's pick the color for them. Take color number one and let's pick a brush. Let's go here to inking and we can take technical pen. Let's make the brush size 33. So let's outline this. And if you want to make sure that your lines will not be shaky, we can change one setting. Let's go to the actions menu, preferences, pressure and smoothing, and make sure your stabilization is around 50%. Now your lines should be not shaky and nice and smooth, like this. Let's draw it in a few parts. So first I'm just drawing here those lines like that. And here I want to have very nice and clear intersection between the piece of seaweed and the salmon. So I'm going to make a new layer on top of this one. And now I will draw this piece over here. So now I can go back to that first layer, this one. I can take the eraser. I'm going to tap on it and set it maybe to monoline brush from calligraphy. My brush size is 100. And I can now easily erase this here like this. 
and we have a very nice intersection between those lines. So you can do that. I'm going to extend this line over here a little bit, like that. And now I can erase this so it looks nice over here. Okay. And now we can merge those two layers together. So let's pinch them like that. Let's continue with the outline. So let's take the brush and maybe over here I'll make this line a little bit thicker. And I'm going to draw here all those fluffy pieces. I'm not going to outline the cheeks. And the outlines are ready. We can draw the tongue on the outlines. I want the tongue to be exactly in the mouth. So to do that, so to draw only in this shape, we have to set this layers alpha lock. Let's tap here and pick alpha lock. Let's pick the color. Take color number four and we can just draw it over here like that and now color this inside. We can now turn off the sketch. We don't need to see this anymore. So let's tap here and turn it off and we can start coloring this. So to color this easily, we can set this layer as reference. Let's tap here and pick reference. Now we can make a new layer and put it under the reference layer. And this way we can now just drag and drop the colors into those spaces that we have on the outline layer. Let's pick our first color. We can take color number two and just drag it here into the places where we have rice. So here and here. By the way, if you don't know, I have many step-by-step -step tutorials like this on my Patreon. So if you would like to draw more with me, make sure to check it out. When you sign up, you will also get almost 200 special procreate brushes, discounts and more. Link is in the description. Now let's make a new layer and we can color the salmon. Let's take color number 5. Drag it here and drag it here. Okay. Now let's make one more layer and take color number seven and color this piece. So our colors are ready. We can start adding here some textures. Let's start here with the rice. So let's go to this layer over here and we can make a new layer on top of this one and set it as clipping mask. This way, whatever we'll draw here will be visible now only on this layer that is underneath. Let's pick the color, take color number three, and let's pick a brush. Let's go here to my Shakula special brushes, and we can take here this dashi. With the brush size 100%, we can just add this all over this, like that. I would like this pattern to be bigger, so we can take the arrow tool and we can just make it bigger like this. Okay. Let's tap here to finish this and we can do it one more time. So let's make a new layer. Let's also set it as clipping mask. We can draw that pattern and make it bigger again. This way we'll have here more pieces of rice visible like this. We can also rotate it. And let's tap here to finish. Let's add now some texture to the salmon. So let's go to the layer of it. First, we are going to draw here some stripes across of this piece. So let's make a new layer. Let's set it as clipping mask. And let's pick the color. Let's take color number six. 
let's change the brush. We can go back here to the technical pen and just draw some lines going across of this like that. And now for the texture, let's make a new layer. Let's set it as clipping mask. And we are going to change the bending mode of this to overlay. Let's pick the color. Take color number five. And let's pick a brush. Let's go here to my Shekula special brushes. And for this, we can take texture two. With the brush size 100%, we can just add it here like that. We can turn down the opacity of this. I will make it 72. Okay, now let's add the texture to the seaweed. Let's go to the layer of it. Let's make a new layer on top and set it as clipping mask. Let's also set it as overlay. And now let's pick the color. We can take color number seven and let's pick a brush. Let's go here to artistic and take Aurora. With the brush size 20, we can just draw here this like that. Okay, and let's turn down the opacity of this. I will make it 36. Before we add here shadow on light, let's still add him a cheeks. Let's make a new layer for this. Let's pick a color. Take color number four. Let's pick a brush. Let's go here to calligraphy and take monoline brush. And with the brush size 11, we can just draw the cheeks over here like this. Draw an oval shape. Hold your pencil on the screen to make this a nice oval. We can color this inside. And something like this happens because we have the reference on, on this layer. So let's go here. Let's turn it off. And now we can go back to this layer and color the cheek. Now let's draw another one over here. If you want, you can tap here on Edit Ellipse and then edit the points. Okay, when you finish, tap with your finger on the screen and then color this. And as you can see, my cheek here came outside of the shape. I will just take the eraser and I'm going to erase this here. So now let's start adding your shadows. Let's start with the seaweed. Let's go to the pattern on it, to the texture on it, this layer, and let's make a new layer on top of this. Let's set this layer's clipping mask and change the bending mode to multiply. Let's pick the color. Take color number seven. We can keep the monoline brush Let's make it bigger. Let's make it 68. And draw the shadow over here on the right side of that piece. Follow the shape of it. And just draw it like that. We can close this shape. And now color this inside. Let's turn down the opacity of this. I'll make it 23%. Let's add here some more shadow. We are going to do it on a new layer. Let's set it as clipping mask tool and set it as multiply. Now we can draw this shadow closer to the edge of the shape. So like this. So this way we are drawing here kind of like a double shadow. Okay, and let's turn down the opacity of this. This one I will make 28. Okay, we can do the same now to the Salomon piece. 
Let's go to the texture on it and make a new layer on top of this. Let's set it as clipping mask and change this to multiply. Let's pick the color, pick color number 5 and we are going to draw it in the same way. Let's draw the shadow over here. You can close this shape and color this inside. Let's turn down the opacity of this. I'm going to make this one 27. And now let's make one more layer. Also set it as clipping mask and multiply. And draw the double shadow over here. And now let's turn down the opacity of this. I will make this one 42. And there will be still some shadow over here behind the seaweed. So let's add it like this over here. And same on the other layer over here. Okay. Now let's add the shadow to the rise. Let's go to the texture on it and make a new layer on top of this. Set it as clipping mask and change it to multiply. Let's pick the color, take color number two. So now we can kind of just follow here this shape, this line for the shadow behind the seaweed like this. Okay, let's draw the shadow under the salmon. over here and then here on the edges of the sushi we are going to add this shadow in this cloudy way so draw here some arcs like this Kind of follow the shape of the arcs that are on the outside here. Okay, and same over here. And now let's make a new layer to add that double shadow. Let's set it as clipping mask and change it to multiply. So let's start here behind the seaweed, now under the salmon, and then around that edge. Okay, so all the shadows are ready. Now let's add here some highlights. Let's make a new layer on top of everything. Under the outlines. And let's pick a color. Let's take color number 3. Let's draw here some highlights on the salmon. I like to draw here some dots and lines. Maybe a little bit here in the back. And I think this would be enough. Let's turn down the opacity of this. I want this to be see-through a little bit. Let's make it 80%. Okay. Now in the end, let's add here shadow. And then we can still add here some small elements around this. To draw the shadow, let's make a new layer and put it at the bottom, over here. Let's pick the color, take color number 8, and let's draw here kind of like an oval shape under the sushi. Okay, let's color this inside. 
Let's change the blending mode of this to multiply. And we can turn down the opacity of this a little bit. Let's make it 82%. And let's make a new layer for the double shadow. Let's also set it as multiply. And draw a smaller oval closer to the sushi piece. So like this. Let's color this inside and turn down the opacity. I'll make this one 61. Okay, now we can add here some small stars and maybe lines around it. Let's make a new layer on top of everything, above the outlines, and let's pick a color. Color number one. Let's make the brush size here 20%. And I would like to draw here a few lines. To make them straight, hold your pencil and screen. I'll draw two over here and maybe three in the back. Like that. And now I would like to add here some stars. If you want, you can hand draw them. I'm going to use my brush stamps. If you are interested in them, the link for them will be in the description of this video. I'm going to take here this one, pointed star. And with the brush size 6%, I'll just stamp some of this here. No bigger size, 9%. I'll add one here. Now I'm going to take maybe cross field and add a few of these, maybe smaller size 4% now, okay. And now I would like to add here this one, star to field, with the brush size 5%. I'm just going to add a few of them here, and one bigger one, 8% maybe here and I would like to still add here some lines but for this I'm going to use this brush dot line with the brush size 2% I'm going to add here lines like this And using the same brush, I will still add here just some dots. Okay, now in the end, I've picked here three colors you can pick for the background. Let's go to the background color. And you can pick color number eight, color number nine, or color number 10. It's up to you which color you like the most. If you want, you can also pick your own color. I'm going to pick color number nine. Tap on done. And the illustration is finished. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you can share your drawing with me on Instagram. I would love to see it. And if you'd like to draw more of me, make sure to check out my Patreon. Link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.